As we continue to celebrate Women's Month, let's hear some words of advice and inspiration from some of our trailblazing women who have shared their phenomenal story with me on The Trailblazers. Let me tell you tomorrow, I'm allergic to negative people. You gotta get allergic to some people. You understand? That is the biggest survival tool that I could offer somebody. Get allergic to toxic people. Because when they come in your space, they can break you. And if you have, and remember, you know, to be strong and to survive any adversity, any type of pandemic or epidemic, you got to iron yourself and build yourself. It don't just come like that. Oh, yes, I'm strong. Oh, no, 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 no. We've all broken down. We've all broken down, bawling our eyes out on the floor. Lord, I can't take life anymore. We've all been there. And if anybody hasn't had a moment of being broken, then boy, you're good. I want to know you. Yeah? I've fallen on the ground, bawling my eyes out, feeling like I'm going to die. I don't want to live. And I'm so stressed and the pain on my shoulders. And then I step out of it and say, girl, step out of it. There are people out there who have it worse than you. But it's habit. You got to train your mind to respond to adversity, to toxic people. You got to have a mechanism, something that you do when they what come in your takes, way. What it takes is a vision, like being laser focused on what you want and not focus on here because if you focus on here, you will never get to where you want. So you need to have a vision of your future. You're like a superwoman. Yes. I mean, how have you been able over the years to do it all, so to speak? Just to be yeah, a Jamaican yeah, woman. Yes, yeah. Jamaican woman, yeah. It's not it's all true. Way, yes. Let me tell you this again. It's not all the way they come here upon the slave ship. Some of they come here free. Some of us, and, and I am defending the Jamaicans that were here by free will, not by slavery. And we are the women who have set the example for the entire world where dealing with struggles is concerned and issues and the slave master does kill off your man and you dress him up and tell him, say it, I go, all right, and then go back tomorrow, the slave master beat him and then come back again. Mm -hmm. we, we need Jamaican women to understand the role of playing a civilization in life, yes. in, 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 in just humanity. Mm -hmm. as, as, as women, this Jamaica, you may talk about, not just yes. black woman in general, Jamaican black woman, wow. right? If we tap into mm -hmm. all the wars that were fought in Jamaica, I'm not trying to bring in feminism in Jamaica, we don't need to look into all the wars then, because mm -hmm. it's pretty glass nickel. All the wars that mm -hmm. were fought in this island mm -hmm. were led by women. Yeah, so the suppression of women in Jamaica is not a joke thing, it's a real thing. They only want to empower a particular type of woman. If they were to empower the Miss Luz that came along since her, mm -hmm. the type of Jamaica that we'd have, we wouldn't have so much problems with our boys. Yes. We would not have so much problems with our men because mm -hmm. our women have forgotten how mm -hmm. to be the women that we're known to be. And I am not going to stop until I am one of those reminders Mm -hmm. of who we are as women yes. in this country and we don't have to be taking all of this yes you know and all these people running in to say they are here to help and to aid and to be a part of what they're not mm -hmm. helping with what is really needed to be done we're mm -hmm. uplifting our women especially inner city and rural community it's women you're, you're introducing all these things to them and they're not clear mm -hmm. as yet Yes. with all the stuff that they have going on from a day-to-day -day basis. That is so true in terms of having a sense of self and a sense of identity and knowing and yourself. Know really who we are. Nanny, Nanny mm -hmm. came here as a free woman. She was not a slave. But they, are not, they have not glorified Nanny as yet in our culture. They haven't told young girls who nanny was but i'll tell them that everything is on the internet so if you go to the internet as a young girl who feel like you have this greatness about you but you're not being able to excel and to show it go look at what they did to nanny nanny in her she has a treaty as well as the akompong maroons yes. and her treaty tells you that she transported herself here with her servants if if someone transported themselves somewhere Mm -hmm. with their servants that means they're that. traveling at ledger yes that's the nanny that we have here who people are trying to make us believe yeah. was a slave, was a slave. Wow. That's, the, that's our culture our culture is built on free people mm -hmm. here is that thing 
that says, no man, we're comfortable here, so we understand this, you know, this is our um, playground, you know, this is our kingdom that we conquer already. Why leave it to something new? You know, why take the chance of somebody going criticize you for trying that? Hey, where you know everything and nobody can challenge your knowledge. Why take a risk and not know if you're going to stay? Like, there's so many people looking on. They're going to laugh. They're going to think that you are a failure. And that's going to be amusement for your enemies. And, you know, people who believe in you will be disappointed. And then you will suddenly find out that you're not really as brilliant as you thought you were. So stay where you are sure of your brilliance. Why try something that you are going to be the only person walking that road? You're going to have to be alone for a little bit. You're going to have to walk by yourself and with God. And you will have uncertainty. Why do all of that? That's hard. That's difficult. And you don't need to. When that voice is talking to you, and we know when it's talking to us, when we want to start a degree program, but nobody in our family not encouraging us to pursue higher education. When you want to start a business, but we're not an entrepreneur. When you want to invest in yourself in a particular way, but you're the only person who sees the value of that investment, fear will talk to you and say, no matter fight, just, just work with things as they are, and just understand that this is where God is you for life, and you have to be comfortable with what you get in life. I had to write through how I, I was conquering those situations. It was a lot, but I wanted to be a, a singer because people were telling me, oh, you can sing. You know, I remember them going to my dad and say, your daughter can sing. And says, sing what? You need to just sit, go sit somewhere or find somewhere dead. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. I started not to talk about these. I, I, I was writing a book and I said, I wouldn't do it until my dad passed because I believe that even though he was so, you know, yeah. Aggressive to us, I think it would break his heart. So I left it. I wanted to, you know, be somebody to take her out of that. I thank God for his grace and mercy. I thank God that I, even though he was calling me from a long time, I thank him for the ones who rose up against me because sometimes God will put you in an uncomfortable position, yeah? Or an uncomfortable situation so it can move you to a more comfortable position because if it wasn't for my enemies, my friends who became my enemies, I shot a cat. And I, I wouldn't have gone to God. I would have forgot that I had a katanda, two knees at the time to fall on. These same knees, I didn't know the purpose of these knees was to bow in the presence of God because the name that is above all name was the name that I called upon when I heard him answer number one key consistency be consistent so I've seen many people start up try to do what I do and what you're doing as well Tamara but I admire about you with trailblazers is that you've been consistent you've said I'm gonna have a show this time every week tune in and every week consistently your show is there I've seen so many people start and then stop or start and stop, start and stop, start and stop, and there's no consistency. If you want to succeed as a business and as a brand and to attract followers, you've got to be consistent. Any lasting comments that you would want to share with our aspiring trailblazers? Looking at you, Lenya, you've overcome so much, yet you still are, you, you bounce back, you are on your healing journey, you're thriving nonetheless. And they're looking on and they want to also find back their voice what would you Absolutely. say to them i will say you know it's a journey it is not a sprint and there's not there's no one cut way of dealing with trauma dealing with failure um you have to go through that process create a space of people that you can share with people that you can trust create a space of judgment-free space um and start pen penning it out. A lot of my pain, I wrote on paper. I wrote in songs. You know, if you don't want to verbalize it, you can write it down on paper. But understand that every person's journey is different. A lot of the times we sit and we like to compare our lives to the next person and where, where they are. You know, we don't have, there's no clear plan about how and where and when we need to get to where we need to get to. So give yourself time to heal and time to grow. No way that you see me cry. I'm way too good at goodbyes. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am Tamar 
Kale television and radio presenter, producer, communication specialist, and of course, producer and host of the Trailblazer series. I'm inviting you, yes, you, to join the family. All you have to do is just click that subscribe button right below. Yes, you see it. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're alerted as to when we have new episodes, which is generally weekly. And then join the family for our weekly inspiring episodes that will not only lift your spirits, but give you the tools, the keys, and the strategies that you need so that you can walk in your purpose and blaze your trail. <laughs>